In this video, you will see a series of clips showing how our tacking scale evolved over the past year from the very first day Katie and I started sailing. Tacking is a maneuver that moves the boat through the wind. As a new sailor, I understood all the basic steps, but only after I frequently ran into trouble trying to sail to the Golden Gate Bridge from Alcatraz. I realized that tacking is a little more than just going through the motion. In a typical summer afternoon, westerly or southwesterly wind, usually around 20 knots, blows right through the gate. Without saying, beating and multiple tacks are needed to reach the bridge. A poorly executed tack slows the boat down so much that significantly increases the leeway. One time, I'm not even joking, after tacking we slip to the leeward too much, literally got closer and closer to the arc tracks with the bow pointing to the bridge all the time. Hello, arc tracks. Without further ado, here are three things I found that significantly improve our tacking efficiency. First, do not pinch before tacking. Sitting towards the Golden Gate is mostly beating, close ridge or close hold. However, as a new sailor, I often misjudged, didn't trim sail hard enough and sail too high towards the bridge, pinching. Boat slow down, apparent wind shift behind, store the lower side of the sail and increase the leeway. Not knowing better, I thought the wind increased and pinched even more. This is my worst tacking. I pinched, released way too early, stored in irons. What I should do is to light out the sheet, bear away to regain the speed before packing. Second, you can properly guess, I used to release the working sheet as soon as the bow turned into the wind, and the jib started laughing. Then the jib ended up flapping all the way across the wind. Later I learned the best way is to light the jib back winded. Backfield jib helps pushing the bow across the wind, then release and pull in the new working sheet. Third, in the early days I did tacking myself with Katie still learning the ropes. Gradually, she picked up crew responsibility and this is her first time putting in the new working sheet and handle the winch in action. Excellent. After a year of sailing, I have a new appreciation of the coordination between helmsman and crew. It's especially true to inexperienced sailors. Now we have a system that I'm responsible for controlling how I'm putting in new working sheet while Katie is in charge of releasing. As a helmsman, I have a better sense of how fast the bow is turning, how much rudder is used, and how much more the bow needs to turn away from the wind. So I'll verbally let Katie know exactly when to release the working sheet. This way, I can control how long the jib needs to be backfilled. The lighter the wind, the slower the speed, the longer I keep the jib backwinded. So, to summarize, number one, speed before tacking is the key, no pinching. Number two, let jib backwinded and control the timing of release. Number three, coordination. That's all for today's video. Enjoying the Golden Gate Bridge. Kill music!